Welcome to Omniology School. The basic common sense about eating habits that we will read from today. This is a book published in September 1995 by Dr. Yang He Lee as a dialogue between teacher and student. Diet is the cornerstone of our health. This will be useful health information. The English version was provided by Omniology School. And we would appreciate your understanding that the contents of the original diagram have been omitted. 10. Fat student. You explain everything so clearly. Saturated fatty acids are hydrogenated oils, not liquid oils. It is common knowledge that hydrogenated oil is animal fat, and eating a lot of animal fat promotes arteriosclerosis. And unsaturated fatty acids are the opposite. Teacher. Of course. The main point is, but nature is not as simple as a knife. So, fat foods that we can get from nature are not made of one type of fatty acid. And all fats are made up of various fatty acids mixed together. So, since all fats are a mixture of saturated and unsaturated fatty acids, it is important to know the fatty acid composition of the fat, i.e., the ratio of saturated and unsaturated fatty acids, in order to know the nutritional physiological properties. Student. That's right. In order to actually eat well, we need to know the fatty acid composition of each fatty food well. But, sir, how do we remember the fatty acid composition of so many fatty foods? Teacher. It seems difficult, but it is not. Of course, if we want to know more, it is clear if we refer to the fatty acid composition table of each food in our diet. But it is very helpful to understand the concepts and trends for our diet. Student, is that so? Then, please explain the tendency of fat composition in fatty foods in an easy to understand. Teacher, that's right. First of all, if you compare animal fat with vegetable fat, as you can see from the outside, animal fat is usually hydrogenated oil, and vegetable fat is usually liquid oil. As for the fatty acid composition, animal fat has a high proportion of saturated fatty acids and vegetable fat has a high proportion of unsaturated fatty acids. And among animal fats, meat has a higher percentage of saturated fatty acids than fish. Student. So, in the end, it is concluded that eating a lot of animal products is not good. Teacher, not necessarily. If you look closely at the fatty acid composition, in meat, saturated fatty acids versus monounsaturated fatty acids versus polyunsaturated fatty acids are about 50, 47 to 3 for beef tallow, 65 to 32, 3 for brisket, 41 hours 44 minutes and 15 seconds for pork, and 37 to 48 for chicken oil, 20, for fish, mackerel 26 hours 44 minutes and 29 seconds, eel 23, 64 to 12, sardine 35 hours 32 minutes and 32 seconds, and for plants, sesame oil 15 hours 41 minutes and 44 seconds, soybean oil 16 23, 61. Rice bran oil is around 20 hours 40 minutes and 40 seconds. So, again, eating a lot of meat is not very desirable, but eating fish does not cause much damage to arteriosclerosis. Rather, it is said to be rich in polyunsaturated fatty acids, such as eicosapentaenoic acid, EHA, and dicosahexanoic acid, DHA, which have a great preventive effect on arteriosclerosis thus preventing arteriosclerosis. Student. As animal food, eating a lot of fish would be very beneficial to health. Teacher. Yes. The original diet is not good if it leans to one side. For fatty acids, it is best to consume saturated fatty acids, monounsaturated fatty acids, and polyunsaturated fatty acids in approximately equal proportions. Therefore, if you keep that in mind and practice the GF diet, it is ideal. Student. Then, should meat consumption be very moderate? Teacher. Not even so. Since the fat part of meat is also a problem. 
there is no problem with the part with less fat, and the damage is not seen much in the growing children. Therefore, it is recommended to avoid excessive consumption of meat in adults over 40 and obese people. Student, as we hear all the time, cholesterol is also a facilitator of arterial strengthening. So please explain the problem at this time as well. Teacher, this cholesterol is also a kind of fatty acid, and although this cholesterol does not exist in general plants, it is contained in animal foods and some seaweeds and is also synthesized in our body. And this cholesterol itself or its decomposition products synthesize various hormones and take on important physiological actions in our body. However, if there is too much cholesterol in the blood, it is a factor that promotes arteriosclerosis. Thanks for listening so far. God be with you. Basic common sense about diet conversation reading will continue.